Well, hello all you YouTubers out there. I'm DJ Lunad, and I'm the Gaming DJ. This is the debut premiere episode, and it's chock full of one of my favorite games from when I was a teenager. Bishoujo Senshi, Seira Moon, Fuda Fuda Panic. This game was never brought over to North America, so you can only find it as a ROM. Let's get to the game, and I'll tell you more about it. And here we are at the intro screen. I don't actually read Japanese, but I do kind of know what some of these are just from having played it. I've started a story mode. You can pick from one of the five Sailor Soldiers. I'll pick Sailor Jupiter, because she's always been my favorite. I have no idea what the story is, because I don't speak a word of Japanese. But there's some kind of story. You get to see the Sailor Soldiers transform, but I'll skip that for now, to get into the main game. And here it is. You shoot at balloons overhead. If you shoot various combinations, you get certain power-ups to help you out. The point of the game is basically to keep your board clear and to wreak havoc on your opponents. If you pop so many balloons at a time, you'll get the gray balloons that you just saw pop up on Sailor Venus's side. You need to burst the colored balloons in a pattern around them in order to get... You see what just happened to her? She caught that item? That one powers you down. It's not a good thing. You see how my energy just went blue? Popping the gray balloons, by the way, reduces your energy. But now that mine's gone blue, I think I'll make Sailor Venus's life a living hell. Pull off a Jupiter Oak evolution. Each of the Sailor Soldiers has a special attack. In the case of Jupiter's, it pops all of the balloons that are the most common on your opponent's side of the screen, and turns those into gray balloons that will jump on Sailor Venus here. You saw her transform. When you're powered down, you don't have the same strength in your attack. You can only pop one balloon at a time, when as, whereas when you're transformed, you can pop multiples like that. When, you pop so, when your opponent pops so many balloons, your screen will drop, as you just saw happen to mine. I can force more balloons to spawn at a faster rate by pressing up on the controller. I'm actually using an emulator, so I don't have a controller to use. Sailor Venus is in a spot of trouble. Her balloons are getting pretty low on the screen. Ooh, and she just powered down again. The music's alright. Unfortunately, I haven't quite got uh, sound recording working yet on my recorder, so you can't hear it, but it's kind of cute. Uh, there are sound effects, like when my Sailor Soldier pulls off her special attack, like this. She actually does shout out Jupiter Oak Evolution, which was her attack in Sailor Moon Super S, the fourth series of the anime. And Sailor Venus just lost. Just for the sake of time, I'm going to skip ahead here, do a little video editing and time lapse, see if I can make my way through to the end of the story. I'll Not only will I face off against the other five inner soldiers, but I'll eventually also face off against Sailor Saturn and the outer soldiers as well. So stay tuned and you'll hopefully get to see that. Welcome back from the eye catch. I've got some clips of the Sailor Soldier's attacks playing while I talk, just so you could see them and get an idea of what they do. The gameplay is fairly simplistic. You just burst sets the same colored balloons and try to push your opponent off the bottom edge of the playfield. You can call Tuxedo Common to clear some balloons for you if your energy's in the yellow. However, the later stages, which I've skipped for time, do become a little more challenging. Balloons start coming at you faster, and the outer soldier's attacks are pretty harsh. Like Sailor Neptune, who switches screens with you, gets pretty frustrating and forces you to change your tactic. The music's cute, but it's repetitive. It's the same tune for the entire game. Sound effects are really good. It's surprising to hear speech on a Super Nintendo title. And the quality of the voice effect is such that a fan of the series, such as me, can actually recognize the voice actresses of the Sailor Soldiers. I can't complain about the controls. Movement is just left and right, fire with the A button, and call Tuxedo Common with the B button. B also uses your Sailor attack if your energy's full. 
There was also a sequel made to this game, based on the fifth series of the anime. In Fua Fua Panic 2, you could play as any of the five inner soldiers, or one of the three sailor starlights. The soldiers' moves got an upgrade, and the starlights got some pretty cheap moves. Like Sailor Star Maker's Star Gentle Uterus, I'm serious by the way, makes 99 balloons spawn for her opponent. Gameplay became a little more challenging in that you could only burst balloons if they were in sets of two or more, unlike the Super S game where you could only burst singles. However, there is an option where you can switch to let you play like in the first game. Grey balloons are rare, usually only spawned by a soldier's attack. When they do appear, they're dealt with in the same way as before. When you chain multiple balloons of the same color, it forces more balloons to spawn for your opponent. As you gather energy by bursting balloons, you can call Chibi Chibi to blow hearts on random spots on your playfield and clear five balloons, unlike Tuxedo Kamen, who would clear the top row only. When you reach full energy, you automatically use your sailor attack. Otherwise, the game is nearly identical to its predecessor. So, all in all, I'd have to say this is a fun little game, with enough amusement factor to keep you playing. Kinda like Bejeweled. The game's no timeless puzzle game like Tetris, but it's worth a download if you like Sailor Moon or games like Busta Move. I'd have to give Sailor Moon Super S Fua Fua Panic for the Super Famicom oh, a good solid three discs out of a possible five. Now, let's check out the last of the game. And here I am fighting Sailor Pluto. She's about to lose, so that's why it's on pause. After this, I should go on to fight Sailor Saturn. But I remember from when I was younger that there was a chance you may not. The game might just end. But I have no idea what determines it. Whether the game just ends or whether you get to fight Sailor Saturn. So we shall see. There is a password feature to the game, it's kind of useless unless you know Japanese. Well, there she is, so it looks like I might get to fight her. Nope, I get to play against myself. So once I went to myself, that will be the end of the game, unfortunately. But there is, as I said, that chance you could fight or play against Sailor Saturn. I have no idea how to trigger that, though. So I'm going to continue on with this, um, thanks everyone for checking me out, I hope you enjoyed the video, keep tripping the trance, and peace and love be with you, whoever you may be.